Welcome to our lecture online and now let's find out how we actually calculate the velocity of object in space relative to us and of course it would be in the radial direction between them and us based upon the red shifting or blue shifting of the light coming towards us. So here we have the example of red shifting, the object is moving away from us. Here's the spectrum of hydrogen and notice that normally the red line is at 656.3 nanometers, the green line is at 486.1 and the purple line is at 434.0 nanometers and if it's moving away from us, that means longer wavelengths, it will be shifted towards the red color and for example, let's say that the H alpha line, as we call it, the red line H for hydrogen, alpha, the first line in the set has now changed to 657.3 nanometers and the question is, how fast is that object, that star, moving away from us? Well, here's the equation that we use the velocity is equal to the speed of light times the ratio of the change in the wavelength divided by the original wavelength. And let me work it out for you so you can see how we actually use those numbers. So the speed of light, if we use miles per second, it's 186,000 miles per second. We can do, of course, the very same equation using kilometers per second, now we use 300,000 kilometers per second. How about the shift in the wavelength? Notice it went from 656.3 to 657.3. I picked, of course, nice numbers that are easy to work with. So that looks like a shift of one nanometer. It doesn't matter if it's blue shifted or red shifted. We just put in the number as long as the shift isn't very large compared to the numbers here. We can use the equation. So the shift is one nanometer. And the original wavelength, that's the wavelength it would be if it wasn't moving. So we use 656.3 nanometers. 656.3 nanometers. Notice the nanometers cancel out. 1 divided by 656.3 times the speed of light. And I have my calculator right here. Let's find out what that's equal to. So 186 000 divided by 656.3 equals, and we come up with 283 miles per second. So the velocity is equal to 283 miles per second and away from us. So away from us. And how do we know that it's away from us? Well, first of all, the wavelength is longer. That the Doppler shift, longer wavelengths means moving away from us. We know that it's redshifted. Redshifted means moving away from us. And in this case, we notice then that is 283 miles per second, that's moving quite fast. Imagine 283 miles per second, that's a lot, of, that's very fast, moving away from us at that speed. And notice how this equation, being very simple, is simply a factor of the Doppler shift of light. And it makes it really easy for us to see how fast things are moving in the universe. So imagine we could look at everything in the universe and notice how fast it's moving away from us or towards us. A tremendous ability to get more knowledge from the universe using a very simple concept of red shifting and blue shifting.